what the hell is Saw Sports or whatever that last call was talking about? What the hell is that? Guys, that was so from Free Love, man. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hector Flores coming at you with a dash video. So similar to what I did with the Astros and Dynamo, I'm going to be doing a recap up to give you guys up to speed with the dash. And similar to what I'm going to do with the Astros and Dynamo, I'm also going to be doing monthly recaps with the dash as well and i'll throw in some extra stuff going on because there's some things going on for the dynamo and dash uh specifically with gold cup and the olympics coming so we gotta mention what's going on over there but yeah so before we get going with this video make sure you guys like this video make sure you guys subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop videos just like this and of course when we do our live streams whenever we do that and if you guys want to support soft sports a little bit more well go ahead and join the patreon or become a member of the youtube channel and doing that not only gets you into the discord but also gives you some special perks that uh honcho is going to be doing for sauce nation for for the even more special sauce na members but yeah so let's get going with this video all right so the nwso since they got such a positive reception from the challenge cup in 2020 which by the way the dash won that one uh, they decided to make the challenge cup a, a recurring thing where it'll be kind of their preseason for their season um so you can still win a championship and all that unfortunately though the dash uh, didn't do so hot this time around as they only were able to get a win and three draws so they didn't lose during the challenge cup 2021 and were only able to finish third in the west division um, for the challenge cup from here on out they're going to split the teams in two divisions especially now since there's even teams i believe there's going to be a new team joining the nwso which is going to be angel city fc which is the the team in los angeles which is uh owned by becky g serena williams it's a very loaded uh uh team there's a lot of hype around that especially their logo a lot of people like their logo right now including myself but anyways so the challenge cup like i said they finished in third uh and for this new format it's literally the the first place team in the west division and east division and they go in and have a one game playoff to decide who's the champion and this this uh 2021's version of the challenge cup winner was the portland uh the portland thorns i was about to say timbers but the portland thorns so yeah so that was the challenge cup uh dash were finished in third place they didn't lose the game so i mean but you know one win and three draws isn't gonna get you first place you know what i mean so yeah now going into the season so for the month of may because that's when it started for the nwsl um the dash ended up losing to new jersey new york gotham fc it's a bad the new york new jersey new york thing is kind of kind of extra but the gotham fc sounds pretty badass so they ended up losing them one and nothing they drew to kansas city two two uh they lose to the washington spirit uh one to two and they beat the chicago red stars two to one so for the month of may the dash were able to get four points out of a possible 16. um so for for those of you who don't understand soccer or you guys didn't catch the dynamo video which if you haven't go ahead and check that one out too um in soccer a win gets you three points a draw gives you one point and a loss doesn't give you anything so when I say accumulated points, that's how I'm going to go off. I'm not going to do like a win, re win, loss, draw record. So just points and what were the possibility of points. So for this case, um, the bet, you know, if they would have won all, all their, all these games, they would have gotten 16 points, but they got four points out of a possible 16. So there you go for that's the month of May. And now to the month of June, which the month of June was interesting because dash, um, had a loan player, loaned a player, got a player on loan from Tigres and her name is Maria Sanchez. Um, the Dash actually got uh, her rights. Uh, so basically, if Maria's, Maria Sanchez were to leave Tigres and she chose to go to the NWSL, the Dash get dibs. That's basically what it is, is that they get dibs. That's the the naming rights, the rights to the player. But they ended up getting bringing her over on a loan for, for one month um and i guess kind of in a way to to get her adjusted to the team i'm sure the dash are currently working on some, getting a deal done to bring maria sanchez to the dash you know full time because i mean oh well, as of right now she's officially back with Tigres. but in the month of june um they beat kansas city one to nothing they lost to louisville uh one to nothing 
and then they beat Orlando Pride 2 to 1 which is a big deal especially cuz the Orlando Pride is right now the top team in the NWSL so that was a big big win for them so from that for the month of June they accumulated a total of 6 out of 6 points out of a possible 9 so not too bad um i think it's it's very it's very difficult right now especially with like international games because obviously we do have a few international players in the houston dash with rachel daly playing for england you have uh chrissy mewis and jane campbell for the u.s women's national team and then we have chapman and prince and and uh and Chapman, uh, well, and Schmidt, Schmidt, that was their player, also playing for Canada. So it's like, you know, you have like, they're going to go out and, and, you know, play for their country. And you kind of have to play with, with who you have. And I mean, at least the month of June, they were able to step up when some of those players weren't available. Um, so it, it, this is going to be definitely a testing part of the season, especially with the Olympics coming up uh, to see how the Dash handles that. But um, I mean... We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, and that's the recap of the of so far of the Houston Dash season. I mean, yeah, it's not the best of starts because you know right now they only have ten points, but weirdly enough, they're actually in, they're still in a playoff spot for the NWSL. Obviously, there's still plenty of games to play, but obviously with with NWSL and even MLS, as long as you get in the playoffs, that's all that really matters. So, and we know this team knows what to do when it comes to uh, one game knockoff tournament formats um but we'll see how it goes um you know obviously it, the, the big thing is just the fact that like a lot of the dash players haven't been playing you know been playing because of being sent out on international duty so we'll see how that goes man but yeah all right so so leave your thoughts on the comment section tell me what you guys think so far of the dash season um i mean they're still in a playoff position so i mean you got at least take that for something um but yeah, tell me in the comments. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to Soft Sports, click on that notification bell. And if you guys want to help us out financially, you can go ahead and join the Patreon or become a member of the YouTube channel. Um, and you'll get some special perks along with it, some exclusives that the, the regular members of the Sauce Nation don't get. So there is that. And I'm going to go ahead and shamelessly plug my podcast, Insert Name FC. We are a part of the Unhinged Sports Network. We're currently competing for Podcast of the Year. Um, if you guys want to help us out, you got to listen to us on UnhingedSN.com. So if you guys follow us on Twitter at Insert Name FC, then you can go ahead and be notified whenever we're live on UnhingedSN.com. But also, <laughs> while you're at it, make sure you guys also follow Soft Sports at, uh, at, on Twitter and Instagram at Soft Sports HCX. So, boom, as well, got to you know, make sure to plug the main people on this thing. So, yeah, man, that's all I really got. Um, chugging up a deuce, y'all stay saucy.